So, the guy who was at our workshop the other day who won the chicken coop is here to pick it up. do it <laughs> he's having trouble getting getting that trailer front out from the hill here <laughs> Good morning guys, today we're supposed to get new windows. These are original windows from 1967. And they're not great, I mean, you know, definitely the screen is all worn out. These windows are basically like our mobile home windows that we had. And the installer's supposed to come out, but it's been taking them like over six months to get the windows in and for the installer to be able to come out. Just how everything else is, there's a shortage on everything. So there's a shortage on windows too. Bernice, good morning Bernice. Turkeys are out. What's up, turkey? All of them are out. Zeke! <laughs> you don't get any turkey. You better get out of the pig pen, turkey. We're almost to the end with these broilers here. It's our last meat chickens of the year, which is, it went by quick. Excuse me, excuse me. We've had eight chicken processing workshops this year and we're having our last two this week. Excuse me, excuse me. We're just moving these coops the length of the chicken tractor. They're pooping. Free fertilizer, guys. This is what's going to make our grass a lot better. This is what's going to make the whole land better. These are Murray's Big Red Broilers from McMurray Hatchery. Uh, my favorite meat chicken. You notice? That white one right there, that's a Cornish cross. That Cornish cross is 20 weeks old. That's insane, like it's not even that big. I mean, it's still alive, you know? Typically a Cornish cross by now would have a heart attack. But this one, we saved from the last batch and it's 20 weeks old and it's still going. It still looks healthy. The reason why we saved it is because it was really small. Like slow, super slow grower. This batch right here was really healthy. We maybe lost maybe one chicken in the first week of having them, but since then they've been growing really fast and healthy. And then in here we have another 20. After we're done with the meat chickens in there, I'm gonna be putting them turkeys in these chicken coops because they just keep getting out. You know, I don't have another chicken coop for them. <laughs> Look at this grass, guys. I'm kind of stoked about it, you know, kind of excited about this grass. There's about 30 days till our first frost. So the leaves are gonna start changing. I already kind of see some of them, which is gonna be our, you know, favorite time of the year, right? Fall, fall time. Right, you know, starting to get the cool mornings a little bit. I ended up giving in and buying an extra 200 foot of hose. Buying this extra feet of hose, it just, it helps so much. But, also the water pressure is not great that far up here. 
Um, it's like a, it takes a little bit to get going. There we go, there we go. 100 gallon trough, empty, that takes about an hour to fill up. Let's check on their minerals. Ooh, they got some kelp. Salt still. We have about three more months with the beefy boys and then we're gonna be putting them in our freezer. So that's something we're kind of leading up to towards the end of the year. Um, there's some equipment I need to do because I we want to do it ourselves. Heavy duty equipment because these are not pigs and they're not chickens. You know, these are big beasts. So we're gonna have to really figure that out. I feel like I just want to do it at least once and just try it out, see if we like it. Uh, see how it works and also I feel like it's a good skill to learn right and how else are you gonna learn? The only way you're gonna learn how to butcher an animal is To actually butcher an animal. All right, we have a crazy goose here. This goose has attacked me Because it's attacked my mom too Everyone's afraid of going in there now Look at that dark egg. That's a nice one. These are our new egg layers that we got this year. So they just started laying eggs for us. They're about seven months old now. Our garden is about done. I mean, we have a lot of tomatoes still. This is our first garden, so this is always going to evolve. Uh, we're already talking about expanding next year, our garden. Our soil is not great. We brought in soil, but... Even that wasn't great. I know for sure though, we're gonna be growing some garlic this fall. And then we might extend the garden out down here. That's why we put the chickens right there. Time to move the chickens. These are our older egg laying hens. They're about three or four years old. We just got a wood chipper. So we've been clearing a lot of trees here since we moved in, uh, here and there. And I need wood chips. And I can't get anybody to, to deliver me wood chips. I've talked to four different companies. They all said yes, they put me on a list, but they have not yet showed up. This does up to about three inches uh, diameter. So we just, um, my father-in-law just chopped down these trees. They're not that big, so let's see if we could fit them in this wood chipper. That's it. That was about an hour of putting all this and clearing all this whole area. We cleared all this area. I mean, it definitely has its limitations. This is the yard max. Uh, I believe it's six and a half horsepower. Um, but look at this. This is more wood chips than I've ever had, actually. <laughs> definitely gonna need the mallet for here. All these roots and hard compacted soil right here. The reality of these Premier One nets is that they do get tangled, guys. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you that they don't get tangled. I know you see these videos and you think, oh man, they put that up so easy. It's not always like that. They get tangled. There's frustration. It's hot. <laughs> it happens. We got little got pieces of wood stuck in them. You know, overgrowth. Hey, chicken chickies! Fuzzy Muggins, what's up? One more chicken. There we go. Simple storage container. I've been using that for seven months. <laughs> I keep on saying that I, I need to make them a proper nesting box, but it works. You know, it's not pretty, but it works. Chickens don't care. I say that every time we move them, they're gonna love this spot. <laughs> yeah. After six months, after we paid for all these windows, right when he was about to install, 
uh, he says, you know what? They are all the wrong size. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Lowe's kept pushing back our install date. And then now they arrive and they're the wrong size, all of them. So now we're back at square one of, they need to send us the right windows. We need to get another installer out. So who knows when we're gonna get windows. I guess I can install those windows myself, but honestly, I don't feel like installing windows. One of the tools that I took for granted when moving to this lifestyle, I never worked a chainsaw ever when we were in California. And so it's been taking me some time to get comfortable around a chainsaw. If there was a way to take a class, I would suggest taking a chainsaw class. The next best thing, if you can't take a workshop, is YouTube University. I'm looking at Steve's small engine repair saloon and he's gonna teach me how to put on this blade. Do that. There we go. That's what I was missing. I'm just gonna put on, just gonna put on a new chain. This chain kept on coming off on us while we were chopping down some trees over there the other day. And to get going again, we have a lot of trees to cut. We need this to work. Just pop that on. Hey turkeys, you guys need to stay alive for me this week, okay? Can you hold off one more week? So that way I can put you in the coops after? I think these turkeys are trying to die. They keep getting out. Oh, now we have a chicken out. Come on, come on. Get in there. Because we had this, it was uneven right here. I need to stop a little bit. A few days ago we went around and marked the trees that we want to get rid of. I don't think we're ever going to be finished of clearing our land because it's always going to evolve over time. But for now we want to remove some trees that are in our pasture area. Every time we get a chance, you know, we come out here with the chainsaw or the wood chipper and I start thinning out <laughs> some trees. Nope, nope, that's not where I wanted it. But, yeah. It's not that big of a tree, so it's not, not that big of a deal. Most of the trees on our property are sweet gum trees. It's these ones right here. This is a black walnut tree. We'll definitely keep the black walnut. But like all these sweet gum trees that are popping up right here, they just, uh, you know, they kind of like grew like a weed. You know, sweet gum, all these four are sweet gum, the black walnut. Now it's dinner time. We're liking this uh, wall that we took out, guys. Look at this. If you haven't seen that video, look for it. We did it. We took out this wall to let more lighting in our kitchen area and dining area. What's for dinner? Penelope made dinner. Do you want to say what you made? I made chicken and potatoes. Whoa, this looks so good. Yeah. Pasture raised chickens from one of our chickens. Is this a Cornish Cross or a Freedom Ranger? Uh, I think it's a Red Ranger. Let's taste this Red Ranger. This is so good, Penelope. Cleared some trees. It looks a whole lot better now. A little cleared out, thinned out. You know, this is, you know, by clearing some of these trees, just gonna, gonna give us some more pasture for more beefy boys, more pigs, chickens. This is how we usually end our days, just putting everyone to bed, make sure everyone's safe and fed and how they have water. The netting is secure. All the turkeys are roosting already. Good job, turkeys. 
take a walk up our mountain here, check on the beefy boys, and then take a moment to look at the sunset.